Hey guys, Extended here, and today we are here with Season 2, Episode 1 of our FC Bayern Munich Career Mode. I know you guys have been waiting for this, and we ended up staying manager of the club after a terrible last season. We only managed to win one cup, and it was the German Cup. We didn't come close at all in the Champions League. I think we got knocked out in the round of 16, and the league, we came in second place, but we're so many points behind Borussia Dortmund. So hopefully we can change everything this season. Let's look at our uh, task right here. For the Champions Cup objective, of course they want us to win that. And let's see what else. League objective, of course they want us to win. And Domestic Cup, of course they want us to win. Still they're looking for the treble pretty much every year. You guys can see for our season budget, $87 million or uh, euros, which is a significant uh, amount of money that we can hopefully uh, make our squad better in spots that sort of failed us last year. Okay guys, so before we do any transfer business, uh, we're looking to send out our players first. So what I did is I put some players on loan. I also put some people on the transfer list, such as Kirkhoff, because he he's a decent player, but he's 75 uh, rated and already 25 years old. So I don't see him getting any better down the line. Also, I'm gonna put Road up. Let's add him to the transfer list because he's a really good player, but also once again, 80 or 25 years old. Uh, I, I want to find someone that's around the same overall, but a lot younger. So uh, we have, let's see, Zuccolini, Hoiberg, and let's see, Omri Chan in the midfield. So there's really no space also for Road. Even though he could easily play better than them, I also want to get those young players playing. You guys could see right here in this second squad right here. I have Goods up top. Uh, same uh, top three right here with Komen on the left and Green on the right. Same defense, but mixing up the midfield quite a bit. So, yeah, let's get into our mail. I already saw a transfer offer for Mats Hummels, but he's going to go nowhere. Even though he is 27 years old, maybe we can do something with this. Let's see. 55 million. Hummels didn't play too great for us last year, so I guess if we can get that, Tini Edvash can go into the second team, and maybe Javi Martinez can get into the first team. So we do have a transfer offer here for Juan Bernat for 12 million. That's not too bad. But he's only 23 years old and also 80 rated, so I really don't want to let him go. So I'm just going to reject all offers because there's no point in uh, fighting all these things if they're going to give me quite low amounts. Okay, here we have a transfer offer from Man United for Thomas Muller for 53 million. But at the age of 26 and 88 overall, I definitely don't want to let him go for that amount. So 95? I really doubt that they'll come in with that. Maybe a team like Real Madrid would, but... Manchester United, I definitely cannot see them splashing the cash that much, especially in real life. 95 million for Muller. Right here, Medi Benesha, we get an offer for him. 21 million. He's 29 years old. I didn't even know that. Only 84 rated. If we can get 40 million, it seems sort of low, but at the same time, it's really good because he's not that high overall. Plus, his age, he's quite old. Chelsea come back with 48 million. Let's see if we can get 53 million out of him because now, after thinking about it quite a bit, I do want to let him go. Just because he didn't do that great for us last season, even though we brought him, we just brought him in in the January transfer window. So we do get an offer for Vidal from Manchester City. He's 86 overall, one of the, like, I think he was one of our best players last year. But also age is a key factor, 29 years old. We could really change up this team if we wanted to. But 31 million definitely isn't going to cut it. Uh, if we're going to get anything, it has to be 65 because he still has really good... He still has a few uh, good amount of years left in him. Manchester United come back in with 57 million. I'm just going to straight reject that because there's no point in fighting that offer. So, Borussia Mönchengladbach do come back with the offer of 22 million for Benetia. Yeah, I think 40 million was a bit too high. Oops, uh, let's maybe put in 35 but I also do really want to keep him for the second team because he is really good. Here with Mats Hummels, Chelsea do offer 48 million. I don't think that they're going to budge, but I also don't want to give them... Uh, I don't know. Should I accept it? No, if only 55. I know I just put 53 before, but 48 just seems too low. He's also 27. That's not too old, I guess. So we get three offers, two of them super big. One for Mario gets to only 22 million. That, definitely not. Even though, well, I think it's because of his form, but definitely not. He's only 24 years old, and I know that he can get up to a 90 somewhat rated. Manuel Neuer to FC Barcelona for 64 million, not a chance. Uh, if they can give me 114, but I know for sure that is not going to happen. And our last offer is for Sebastian Rode from Watford. 
So not a bad deal, but if I can get 13 and a half million, I'll be uh, really content with that. So we do get an offer from Valencia for Mario Good, so I'm going to reject it also. I'm pretty sure that we're not going to get a good offer just because his form is only okay. And uh, Man City do come back with an offer for Vidal, but I'm just going to reject that because there's no way that they'll get up to 60 somewhat million. So this episode, we're just going to sim the uh, preseason tournament it is against Toronto FC. I'm going to give my backup squad a uh, test right here. Yeah, like I said, going up against Toronto FC in the American Challenge Cup. Can we do anything good from this? We only have three subs. We're going to sim this and we end up winning 3-0. Two goals from our number seven, Zuccolini. I'm quite happy. I think I'm going to uh, let him keep the number seven unless someone else comes out this season with a super breakthrough season and then I might change it up. But I do like him with the number seven jersey. And while talking right there, we do get an offer for Manuel Neuer, 72 million. But I really don't think money can uh, take away this player from our club because even though he's 30, he's 92 overall. So... Like I said, I don't really think that there's a chance that I can give up this guy. So here in our next game against Columbus Crew, we're going to play our starting 11 that we do play throughout the season. A really strong squad. You guys can see Hummels and Conchelli in the back of Roddy and Vidal holding down the midfield with a very strong attack. Straight off the bat, they do miss a penalty though, uh, Columbus Crew. We're going to skip it and they end up beating our main squad. And quite a disappointing defeat right there. I don't know if FIFA that they don't try as hard in preseason, but still quite disappointing. And yeah, we do get more transfer offers. We have five, in fact. 32.5 million from Arsenal for Matt Salmos. We're going to do the same thing for Chelsea, 53 million. I don't think that they'll uh, accept that, but it never hurts to try. Mario Goetze, 26 million. I'm just going to reject all offers because there's no point. Let's see. Oh, three of them were for Mario Goetze, I guess. And 46 million for Marco Verratti from Manchester City. So they couldn't get Vidal, so now they're going for our other CM. He didn't really play that well for us last year, so maybe I should look to sell him. He's a really good player, but he just doesn't really fit in our team that great. He is quite small. Let's see, 53 million is the most like we could probably get for him, it says. But if I can squeeze out 67.5 million, I know it's quite a lot, but he's only 23 years old and Man City do have the money. So we'll see what happens right there. You guys could also see that Watford did accept the 13.5 for Sebastian Road, so he is looking like he's on his way to the Premier League, or if they're back in the championship, I'm not sure. So, yeah, let's see how all this goes. Uh, but after, or we can't do anything yet because we do have our final game against Valencia. We're going to go back to our backup squad, even though Mario Goetze is tired. It doesn't really matter too much as long as he doesn't get injured. Um, let's see, we're going to skip, and Coman does get a goal also with Bernat. So we do end up winning 2-0, and I think we advance into the semifinals of the tournament. Okay, so we do get a couple transfer offers. Tin Yedvaj right here. Loan. I'm, I am going to accept this two-year two year loan. He's already 76 rated for a 20-year-old, uh, which isn't too bad. And Barcelona aren't going to go up anymore, so I'm just going to straight up reject that offer. Okay, so a few more transfer offers. Uh, this episode is only going to be transfer offer, guys. Transfer offers, guys, because uh, it's just too much. And if I do include gameplay, the episode would just be way too long. So we do have a transfer for Yang Kirkhoff right here. Hamburg, I think he went on loan there. Do one for 25 million or 2.5 million, should I say. Uh, his valuation is 3.1. So if we can get 4.5 million, uh, I'll be really happy with that. Two more transfer offers left. Man City, 64 million for Verratti. Can we get up to 67.5? If not, I'll gladly accept 64.5 million. But yeah, I don't know. I'm I want to see how he can get in the future, but I just don't feel like he's right for our team. And Arsenal, 50 million for Matt Hummels. Let's see if we can get 60 out of him, but 50 million, I'm also quite happy with that. So we do have our semi-final game against River Plate right here. We are going to be playing our main squad, who did lose to Columbus Crew, I believe. Our backup squad won both of the games for us. Let's see how we can fare in this. We're going to skip it, and we end up winning. Lewandowski scores a goal, also with Koscielny, uh, pretty sure earlier in the game. The sad part is, though, that Amri Chan did get hurt. Hopefully, he's not out for too long. Let's see in this clutter of emails right here. And he's only out for seven days, so not too bad. A uh, player has sold. Sebastian Rode is going to Watford for $13.5 million. He's a quality player, but I think it was right for him to go. Okay, so in the final of this game, we're going to play the starting squad again because I just looked back, and our second team is quite... Well, no, they're not really. I guess it's just Omri Chan, so we are going to play this team with Mario Goetze quite tired. I will just auto-replace just for this match because... Uh, what's his name? Chan isn't uh, injured for long, so we're going to skip. 
and we end up losing against Columbus Crew once again. This time in the final, 5-4 penalties. Uh, Coman did score, but Trap scored a few minutes later, and yeah, we don't get the prize money, which is quite sad, but si I think it was only like 6 million. It's not such a big deal to us. Okay, so Arsenal do reject the 60 million for Mats Hummels. Maybe I shouldn't, wanted shouldn't have went that high because I probably would have accepted the 50 million. Man City do accept 67.5 million for Verratti. So if that does go through, we're going to get a lot of money and we could probably bring in a very a good player. Okay, so we get a transfer offer for Arturo Vidal. Manchester City, 26 million. Uh, I'm just going to reject all offers because I really think that Vidal is the best player on our team so far. Or pretty much last season. He he played in almost every game and he was always consistent. So we get an offer for Jan Kirkhoff. Hamburg did decline the other one. 2.7 million for Mites right here. We're going to offer the same for 4.5. Hopefully they do accept because he's not a bad player. And you guys can see players sold to Man City. 67.5 million. We do, uh, uh, we do get 57.5 million. So I'm going to look for a center mid really quick. Okay, guys, so you guys can see that we do have four names right here, three of them being very big. We're going to start off with Nemanja Matic. We all, we all know that he's already a super quality CDM. You guys can see stand tackle 89, slide tackle 82. Basically, he could play as defender if we wanted him to. So 86 overall, not bad, and he's not too old either. Paul Pogba, though, I really want to sign him. He's the same age as Verratti, same overall, but just look at those stats. Only one in the yellow, and that's balance, which isn't too bad for a midfielder. But just everything else is either green or dark green. So if we can get him with the money, or especially cheaper than what we sold uh, Verratti for, then that'd be great. It would be a great deal overall. Tony Cruz trying to bring him back to the Allianz Arena. 26 years old, 87 rated, a whole bunch of green stats also. And he'll fit right back in our team, also because Schweinsteiger did leave. And another guy that I wanted to get, but loan out right away, is Oliver Torres. He's only 21 years old. But he does have a super high potential. So I'm going to put in offers for all these guys and see what I can get. Okay, so before we do get any of the emails back, we do get an offer for Thomas Muller from Wolfsburg out of all teams. 47 million. They do have quite a bit of money, I guess. Uh, if we can get 87 million, uh, yeah, I definitely would not complain, even though they are in our league. So we do get some offers back for the teams that we did uh, send them out, but let's look at these transfer offers first. One for this guy that I wanted to sell, 24 years old, 75 overall, never going to break into our team. So 400,000, it doesn't even really matter. I'm just going to straight up accept that because we're never going to use him. And Thomas Muller, 45 million. Let's put it up to 85 and then see what we can get out of that. Might's coming with offer of 3.9 million. I'm going to accept that because that's way over his evaluation and we're just never going to use him. So... Uh, pretty good for for both sides and you guys can see that uh, Atletico Madrid did uh, Let's see For Oliver Torres did reject the bid. I only put in I think 4 million because I didn't know how much Let's put in 10 because it does seem like quite a lot for now But he is really young and he might be able to do well for us in the future and 10 million for a club like us isn't too much so Chelsea won 50 million for Matic. He's 28 years old. So I think the most I'll go up to is 35 to be honest, but 50 million is way too much for a 28 year old that we'll probably only have for a couple years. So for Tony Cruz, they want 74 and a half million for him. Definitely not going to happen. We will put, let's see, we sold Verratti for 67 and a half. Let's put 55 million right here. See what Real Madrid say. I know, I don't even think we sold him for that much in real life. And... Yeah, hopefully we can get him for a reasonable price. So Wolfsburg do come back. Only 47.5 million for Muller. Not going to happen. So we're just going to reject that. I don't think that they'll go any higher than that. And we do get an email from Juventus. Unacceptable. They want 71.5 million. But to be honest, I'm willing to spend a lot more on him than I am for Cruz. Because he's three years younger. Only one overall uh, lower. So 71 million. I'm going to offer 60. It is a lot of money. But just imagine how many titles... Uh, he could bring us just with his quality in the midfield so we did sell that random guy over to Sandhausen I believe for 400 grand not too bad Atletico Madrid do uh, reject for Oliver Torres so 10 million I don't know it seems like a lot but he is really good maybe he's already a gold I think he is a gold maybe we'll offer it is a lot guys 17 million but 
We did get money for Road, 13.5 million, so I guess that can cover for some of that. And we did sell Yankirk off to Mainz for 3.9 million. So Barcelona do come in with a 72 million offer for Thomas Muller. I am going to put it back to 85 because if we can sell that, yes, we are losing a quality, quality player. But with that money, we could also bring in another quality player. Tony Cruz right here, 55 million, and they did accept. So we are going to put in some numbers right here. And we're going to submit it, but doesn't mean we're going to accept it right away if, if they do accept that. So Juventus come back with 60 million for Pogba. It is accepted. So he wants 200 grand a week. I will definitely give him that. And if he accepts, we're definitely going to pick him over Tony Cruz. Chelsea accepted 35 for Matic, even though they wanted 50. Let's see. I'm also going to put in something for him, but doesn't mean I'm going to accept if Pogba does accept. So we do get a transfer offer for Medi Benesha, 22 million from Juventus, not bad. He's 29 years old, let's see if we can get 33 million, because I will accept that. Even 22 million isn't that bad. Barcelona coming with 72 million for Muller, but after thinking a bit, I don't want to let him go. He's pretty much the key figure to Bayern Munich, and if I let him go, pretty much just the series isn't really a Bayern Munich career mode anymore after that. So Atletico Madrid won 28 million for Oliver Torres. Guys, that's going to be a really risky move, but... I am going to offer that for him. I know he's really low rated probably, but he's going to be a super great player in the future. Tony Cruz accepts, but we're just going to wait for Pogba. So you guys can see that Pogba did accept, so did Matic, but we're going to accept Pogba. We have to. Tony Cruz is really good. Matic is really good, but yeah, we're just going to have to go with uh, Paul Pogba right here. So for the last offers of the episode, we do get one for Sven Ulreich, our backup keeper. Uh, I don't want to let him go because you never know when Manuel Neuer will get hurt and we have no one else to play. Juventus come back with 26 million for Benesha and I'm just going to accept that. I'll probably uh, recall Tini Advaj because he's really good and put him in the backup squad. And yeah, Atletico Madrid also accept Oliver Torres for 28 million, of course. We'll give him 90 grand, four years. He'll be important, I guess. Uh, I, I can't keep any promises, but that is going to be the last business because you guys can see that the Bundesliga is going to restart after that or against Mainz right here and I'm going to end the episode right here so we did make a lot of transfer business hopefully guys you guys did like the episode for the first episode of season two even though it was only uh transfers hopefully you guys did like it please like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys later